वेलकम स्टूडेंट इन न्यू वीडियो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो बिफोर टू स्टार्ट द प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यू जस्ट रिमेम्बर यन वी आर डिनोटिंग फॉर द नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट ट्रायल्स ऑफ एन इवेंट ए ऑकर्स सो हाउ मेनी ट्रायल्स आर देयर दैट इज डिनोटेड बाई यन पी बी द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सक्सेस इन अगल ट्रायल Q be the probability of failure in a single trial. So P means probability of success and Q means probability of failure. So success means what? What we want to find that is our success. And failure of that is nothing but a Q. And always you remember here in this case P plus Q equal to one means hundred percent supposed to be there. Also we know the mean equal to that is denoted by mu or yam. That is equal to n p and the standard deviation sigma equal to under root of n p q. So variance equal to standard deviation square that is equal to sigma square and that is equal to n p q. So you remember for the probability distribution. So n means total number of trials, p means probability of success, q means probability of failure, p plus q equal to one and the mean which is denoted by mu or yam. That is equal to n p standard deviation sigma equal to under root of n p q and variance equal to standard deviation square and that is equal to n p q. Also, you remember these things. The sum of possibilities of all possible outcomes is equal to one. It means that there are n possible values. Then probability of zero plus probability of one plus probability of two plus dot 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 plus probability of n that is equal to one. The probability of getting at least R success in n trials, which is nothing but probability of that event which is greater than or equal to R, that is equal to probability of R plus probability of R plus one plus probability of R plus two plus dot 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 plus probability of Yan. You just consider here supposed to be all possible values or outcome supposed to be here zero, one, two, three, dot dot dot, and finally supposed to be Yan. If we are taking here R and we are asking the probability getting at least R success, so R two n means R R plus one R plus two means probability of these things, and total we know that is equal to one. So same thing I can write one minus this thing. So if we consider this is R, so what is the last one here R minus one, and that is the same thing we can write as. One minus probability of zero plus probability of one plus probability of two plus dot 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 plus probability of r minus. Also, we can consider here the probability of getting at most r success. At most means maximum r. So probability of that event which is less than or equal to r equal to probability of zero plus probability of one plus probability of two plus dot 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 plus probability of r. So same thing we can write like this also one minus. So remaining, but normally in the examples we require this. In today's lectures, we are focusing on the binomial probability distribution and Poisson's probability distribution. So actually, one more probability distribution is the a normal probability distribution. But for that, we will conduct a separate lecture. So here we are going to focus on the binomial and Poisson's probability distribution, or you can say directly binomial distribution. And Poisson's distribution. So you remember their probability for the Poisson's probability distribution. The probability of getting R success in n trials that is supposed to be P of R. We are denoting that is the P of R probability of R success that is equal to n C R into P raised to R into Q raised to n minus R. So what is n? N means n trials total number of trials there. P means probability of success and Q means Probability of failure. So probability of R success equal to n C R P raised to R Q raised to n minus R. Don't forget what is n C R. n C R is nothing but equal to n factorial upon R factorial into n minus R factorial. So Poisson's probability distribution. Probability of getting R success in n trials. That is the probability of R. Equal to m raised to r, e raised to minus m upon r factorial, where m means mean, 
and that is equal to n p. So note that these two formulas probability of R success that is the first binomial distribution and second Poisson's distribution. But actually where to use? If supposed to be n here 10, 20, 30 like this means small value and in this case supposed to be 1000, 1 lakh like that. Also in this case the probability of success is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 like that. And in this case, very small, for example, here 0 0.001, 0 0.01, like this. So, in that case, Poisson's distribution we will use. And if supposed to be like this, n is small, and this probability is supposed to be this type, then we will use binomial distribution. So, by example, it will be more clear. So, just consider the examples on binomial and Poisson's distribution. So consider this example, the probability that a bomb dropped from a plane will strike the target is 1 by 5. If 6 bombs are dropped, find the probability that exactly 2 will strike the target. So what are the given things? Given, here 6 bombs, so what is the value of n? It is 6. What is the probability? So what we want to find? Probability that exactly 2 will strike the target. So, strike the target is our success. So, what is that probability? The probability that a bomb dropped from a plane will strike the target, that is our success, is 1 by 5. It means that probability of success, that is equal to 1 by 5. And what is it? It is a 0 0.2. Or you can write this is the probability of success. Also, the probability of failure, that is Q, we know P plus Q equal to 1. So, what is the Q? 1 minus P. So, I will write here 1 minus P that is a 1 minus 0 0.2 and that is equal to 0 0.8. Now, as n is small, n is 6, also probability is 0 0.2. So, we will use here binomial distribution. So, I will write here by binomial distribution. What is the probability of R success that denoted by P of R? And that is equal to n c r p raise to r and q raise to n minus r. So, here what we want to find? Probability that exactly 2 means probability of 2 bomb. So, what is the probability of 2 bomb? So, here we have to find the probability that exactly 2 will strike the target. Means what? We want to find probability of exactly 2. So, what is our R value? So, note that here R equal to 2. Means we have to find probability of 2. So, what is value of R? It is a 2. So, N C R, N is what? Value of N is 6. So, I am getting here 6 C R, R means 2, P raise to R means P square and Q raise to 6 minus 2 n minus r. So, I am getting here 6 c2 p square which is nothing but 0 0.2 square and q is 0 0.8 raised to 4. So, probability of 2. So, 6 c2 you can find directly formula otherwise you have 6 into 5 upon 1 into 2. So, 0 0.2 square and 0 0.8 raised to 4. So, by calculator you can find directly values that is nothing but 0 0.24576 means probability of 2 that is equal to 0 0.25. So, probability that exactly 2 will strike the target is 0 0.25 which is our required answer. Now, next example, if 20 percent of bolts produced by a machine are defective, determine the probability that out of 4 bolts chosen at random, in that first, one is defective and second, at most two bolts are defective. So, how many bolts are there first? So, four bolts are there. So, solution, what is the given? Given thing is n equal to 4. So, definitely we have to use here binomial distribution because n is small. Now, defective, what we want to find? Defective bolts. So, our success is defective bolt or find out the defective bolt. So, therefore, probability of success, that is nothing but the probability of 
डिफेक्टिव बोल इट इज अ ट्वेंटी परसेंट मीन्स वॉट इट इज अ ट्वेंटी बाय हंड्रेड एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट जीरो पॉइंट टू सो वैल्यू ऑफ पी प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सक्सेस दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू तो वट इज अ क्यू इट इज अ वन माइनस पी एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू तो वट इज वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू इट इज अ जीरो पॉइंट एट अगेन द सेम सिमिलर वैल्यू यार नाउ we have to use the binomial distribution so we know binomial distribution so probability of r success that is equal to probability of r and equal to n cr p small r probability of success raised to r into q raised to n minus r so here all values we know n is 4 and r equal to that is the requirement so by this formula what we want to find first probability of one volt defective it means that in this case r equal to 1 so what is the probability of r equal to 1 n n is what 4 c 1 p raised to r means p raised to 1 and q raised to n minus r it is a 4 minus 1 means 3 so that is the 4 c 1 we know it is a 4 P means what is the value of P here? Zero point two raised to one and zero point eight raised to three. So by calculator you find the value. It is a zero point four zero nine six. So therefore probability of one volt defective equal to zero point four zero nine six. Now second, what we want to find now? At most. means probability of at most two volts are defective at most two means what means maximum two so what we want to find we want to find probability of zero plus probability of one plus probability of two at most two defective means maximum two so 0 1 2 so here you can consider probability of r which is less than or equal to 2 so probability of 0 so r equal to 0 here so n c r is 0 p raised to 0 q raised to 4 minus 0 it is a 4 plus 4 c 1 because r equal to 1 there p raised to 1 Q raised to one minus so four minus one it is a three plus p probability of two means four c two probability of two means p square and q raised to four minus two it is a two so substitute here value what is the four c zero it is a one probability of success it is zero point two raised to zero zero point eight raised to four 4c1 it is a 4 0.2 0.8 0.2 cube plus 4c2 you can find by calculator or directly by formula so what is the formula 4 into 3 and 1 into 2 i am getting here 6 p p means 0.2 square and 0.8 square so find value first value 0.4096 probability of 1 we already have it is a 0.4096 plus 0.1536 so add all it is a 0.9728 means i am getting here probability of At most two volts are defective. That is equal to zero point nine seven two eight, which is your required answer. Note that here I am taking together examples: binomial distribution and Poisson's distribution. Because in exam, normal student getting confused when to use binomial and Poisson's distribution. Because last distribution is a normal distribution, and they will include their normal word. so here what are the given values so by given values we have to 
decide which distribution is useful. So, 1% of articles. So, what is that example? 1% of articles from a certain machine are defective. What is the probability of no, first no defective, second one defective and third two or more defective in a sample of 100. So, it is a third one. So, sample of 100. So, n equal to 100 now here. So, what is the given thing? n equal to 100. What is the probability of defective? Means that is our success because we want to find probability of defective atoms or articles here. So, what is that one? So, probability of defective articles that is we will consider a probability of success small p and that is nothing but a 1%. So, 1% means 1 by 100. So, that value equal to 0 0.01. Yes. So, definitely we have to use here Poisson's distribution. So, what is the value of Q? Probability of failure. So, definitely probability of success that is the P equal to 0 0.01. So, probability of failure that is equal to Q. It is a 1 minus P. So, that is equal to 1 minus P and equal to it is a 0 0.99. So, what is the Poisson's distribution formula? Probability of R success. That is a P of R equal to M raised to R, E raised to minus M upon R factorial. So, what is M here? Where M means it is a mean and it is equal to NP. So, first you find mean value. So, what is value of M? N, N is what? 100. N to P is 0 0.01. So, what is it? So, mean value is 1. Now, what we want to find? Now, first thing we want to find, no defective means probability of no defective. So, what is that? Probability of 0, R equal to 0. So, what is the formula? Formula is M raised to R, note that here, probability of no defective, so R equal to 0 here. So, M raised to 0, E raised to minus M upon 0 factorial. So, M raised to 0 is 1, 0 factorial also 1, so E raised to minus M. What is value of M? It is a 1, so E raised to minus 1. So, what is this value? So, it is nothing but 0 0.36787. 0 0.36787 means 79. So, what is the probability of no defective? That is nothing but 0 0.3679. You can write here probability of no defective equal to 0 0.3679. What is second one? Probability of one defective means what is value of R? It is 1. So, probability of 1 that is equal to again the same formula. M raised to R, E raised to minus M upon R factor. M raised to R, so M raised to 1, E raised to minus M upon R factorial means 1 factorial. So, what is M? 1 factorial? It is 1. What is value of M here? So, value of M is 1. So, 1 into E raised to minus 1. It means that again E raised to minus 1 and which is the same value 0 0.3679. So, what is the probability of one defective? It is the 0 0.3679. Now, the third one, probability of two or more defective articles in a sample. So, two or more. So, what is the value of R? R is greater than or equal to 2. Up to how many samples are there? 100. So, 2, 3, 4. So, I want here probability of R which is nothing but greater than or equal to 2. So, it is nothing but probability of 2 plus probability of 3 plus probability of 4 plus dot 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 plus probability of how many last that is 100. But note that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 dot 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 100 probability of if we consider probability of this and addition of that. That is equal to 1 and that is why same thing I can write it is a 1 minus 
probability of zero plus probability of one. So note here, hundred samples are so probability of zero defect to either one defect to maybe two defect to maybe three defect to plus dot 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 plus maybe hundred defect. To. And that is equal to 1. We want probability of 2 and more. So, what is it? It is nothing but 1 minus this. And that is why I can write here probability of R, which is greater than or equal to 2, equal to 1 minus probability of 0 plus probability of 1. And both values we already have. So, directly put need not to find separately. So, it is a 0 0.3679 plus 0 0.3679 by calculator find this value which is your required so i am getting here 0 0.264 so what is the probability of two or more defective articles are there it is a 0 0.264 which is your required answer so consider next example the average number of misprints per page of a book is 1.5 assuming that the distribution of misprint to be poison it means that it is necessary to use poison distribution here. Fine. First, probability that a particular book is a free from misprint. And second, number of pages containing more than one misprint if book contains 900 pages. So, what is the given thing? You should know what is the given thing. You should get it. What is the given thing? So, here average number means mean value. So, mean is given. So, by this, even though this word is not their poison, so if mean value is given, then you can use here the poison distribution. So, what is the given thing? Average value, it is a mean that is equal to m and that is 1.5. We know the poison distribution, probability of R success. So, what is the formula? Probability of R success equal to m raised to R e raised to minus m upon r factorial. So, what is m? m is mean. So, first what we want to find? Probability that a particular book is free from misprint. So, what is value of r here? r equal to 0. No misprint. So, probability of 0, r equal to 0. That is equal to, I am getting m raised to r means m raised to 0 e raised to minus m upon r factorial means 0 factorial. So, I am getting e raised to minus m. What is value of m? It is a e raised to minus 1.5 and this value is given there 0 0.223130. So, probability of that particular book is free from misprint means no misprint there is nothing but 0 0.223130 which is your required. Next is what? Number of pages containing. So, second thing is that first you find the probability that is more than one misprint. So, first you find the probability that a particular book contains more than one misprint. Note that here the misprint per page is given. So, probability of per page so, probability of misprint, definitely it is a per page more than 1. So, what is the meaning of this? So, value of R more than 1 means maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, up to whatever there. Is it? So, in this case, what we want that is greater than 1 means probability of 1, maybe 2, maybe 3, maybe 4. And the last number I don't know, so up to last. But we know probability of 0, 1, 2 and the last number, whatever they are, probability of last number, that is 1. So, if I want these things, so what is it? 1 minus, so same thing I can write 1 minus probability of 0. So, this value we have, so 1 minus probability of 0 is what? 0 0.22. 3130. So, I am getting this value equal to 0 0.77687. So, this is the probability of misprint more than 1. So, how many pages? This is a per page probability. 
having misprint more than one. So, how many pages are there? So, there, if there are 900 pages. So, therefore, what is the number of pages containing more than one misprint? That is equal to 0 0.77687, which is the probability of per page into 900 pages are there. So, what is this value? I am getting here 699.183, but these are the pages. So, how many pages are there? 699 pages. So, number of pages containing more than one misprint is 699 which is your required answer. In the next video, we will continue more examples on binomial and Poisson's distribution. Also, we will continue the normal distribution.